Hey guys, welcome to another quick tip video in uh, writing tests for your React application, right? So in this video, I want to talk about wait for and what is wait for, right? So wait for is one of the async uh, functions provided to us by the React testing library, right? So what 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 is wait for? So wait for is just a function that waits for certain uh, accessions to pass before you know it, it moves on to the next stage, right? So if, for example, if you have a form for like this, where you have a title and then the body, then after you have the submit button, right? And then you, the user enters the submit, uh, like fills the forms and hit the submit button. You know that it's an asynchronous operation because it's going to be sending that uh, data somewhere to the internet or wherever it's supposed to go, right? So, and that takes time. Right, so you when writing tests for those ones, you need to asynchronously wait for some of these events, right? So that's uh, mo most of the time that's what you're going to be using the wait for to do, right? So I have an example over here which is actually performing the user input events where the user types in the title and also the content or the body of the content uh, of what of whatever they are they are sending to the server right so it's kind of like a they are posting some article or something like that right so once they fill in the forms and the submit button is active because we don't want to, to submit an empty form right the user uh, clicks on the button and then we uh, at this point we need to what uh, wait for some events to occur right and in this case we want to actually ensure that the function the mock function that we've created right in this case uh, to be this save new article right so it's like a, it's a mock that we've created where to what make sure that uh, this event is actually being called right or whatever a, the api function is actually being called and we use the wait for for that right because it's going to take some time because it needs to set some state and all that if we check it over here, you can see that we actually need to, uh, we are using Formic here, right? So we are using Formic here. So we need to set submitting to true and make now make the asynchronous operation, then a, a whole lot of things, right? And all these things is take some time for it to okay, right? So that's why we are putting it inside the wait for. So we wait for this function to have been called, right? So if the function is not called, uh, at the moment this wait for happens right uh, the, it will try it again after some time as it laps right so it's going to keep trying until this whole expression that we have here is now true right if after some time and still feels then wait for then now throw an error then just will catch that error and just tell you that oh at this point here uh, what uh, this the assertion that we're making they didn't work right so you need to what fix that problem right so that's what uh, we can use the wait for to do right what you usually use the wait for to do and wait for can be a, a way to you know fix that warning where you have that act warning the from just or when, when you are performing some state updates and it's not done before you perform an accession and it throws a warning to the console that just uh, see a light. Yeah, it, it's annoying, right? So you can use the wait for for that to wait for every state updates or anything to be done before you move on to the next operation, right? And that's exactly what we have here. So that, that's uh, uh, the quick tip I wanted to give to you guys what you can use the wait for in testing. You can use to test almost any accession that you, you, you want to do. So in this case, I'm testing the normal uh, function call. In this case, I'm testing that something, a uh, form failed to have a value or something like that, right? So you can use that, uh, the wait for, for all these other things, right? So that's my, uh, so that's it for this video. I wanted to give a very quick uh, tip on wait for, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks very much.